the first thing you do is turn it on in the back and you will see the lights circling. That means it's calibrating and it's getting ready to work. So the baby's going to cry. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going, I'm going to do the, the shaking. And it doesn't take a lot of shaking, but you will see the areas of the brain that are impacted will begin to light up. And they'll light up sequentially by low. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. And you can see the more I shook, the more of the lights came on. And eventually it goes quiet. And at that point, it may have been severely brain damaged or may have even died. So it just takes a moment for someone to lose their cool and it can have an uh, impact of a lifetime. Now we have historically used this as a teacher demonstrator. We don't put this in students hands. We want the teacher to be showing exactly what, what happens to the brain when you shake it. However, we've recently made an upgrade and it's more than a one and done. Now we can put this in students hands because we have more features and we want to share some of those features with you today. So one of the features we've added is a brain model. And we have a brand new lesson all about the anatomy of the brain. And we start with that because we want students to understand all of the different lobes and what is happening in the brain. And they can transfer that knowledge then when they see the simulator so they have a much greater understanding of just what's impacted in the brain and what's going on in each lobe. So that's one of our, our brand new extra lessons that you get. We have also added a brand new feature. It's a swaddling feature. And now we can put this in students' hands. And like I said, it's more than a one and done. They can get hands-on practice soothing a crying infant and swaddling it until it stops crying. So what they do, they turn the baby on and it's calibrating. And then it's gonna start to cry. And you can let it cry a little bit to start to build that frustration, but it doesn't take long. So your students then are going to lay down the swaddling garment and they're actually going to lay the shaken baby inside the swaddling garment and then they're going to proceed. They will learn how to do the swaddle, put the little feet in. So wrap the left side and then wrap the right side. And then they're going to take the baby up supporting the head and they're going to lightly rock it. And over time, the baby's going to calm down. It's going to stop crying. 